Today, we're doing this. This is the third of our basic three hand balances. To do this one, you have to turn your body into a seesaw. Think about how that works. I've got to find my center of gravity. We call this the fulcrum. And that needs to be right in the middle of the seesaw. Now, since my body is going to be laid out straight, where is the center of me? Well, it's going to be right around my hips. Here's how you find that center. You use a finger and find the top of your hip bone. We call this the iliac crest. If you go just inside that, you'll find it gets kind of squishy. It's just muscle and fat there. You might get a bruise, but it's not going to hurt you. The first thing I want to do is put my elbow right in that spot. Well, it doesn't reach. So again, I'm going to twist myself around to the left a little and then lean forwards a little bit. When I can put that hand in, I'm going to place it on the floor. Again, jazz hands. Spread those fingers, dig everything in your hand into the floor. Some people like their hands forwards, sideways, some will even put them backwards. Whatever is the most comfortable position for you. Your other arm, well this is your balance hand. You're going to step this forwards to stop you smashing your face on the floor. Now there are three stages here. The first one is just to lean forward and press all of your weight into that elbow. Now to do that, I'm going to slide my knees back and out. Back and out. When I know that I can move those knees back and out, I'm just going to add some glutes. Those are my butt muscles, my low back, and some of my hamstring strength. Balancing, my knees go back and out. My full weight is on that elbow. I'm going to lift those knees up. If I can do that, then I'm going to try straightening them. If I can do that, I can bring them together. If I can do that, I might, on a good day, be able to balance on one arm. So here's your challenge today. You've now learned three balances. So this is the third of our three balances. Now the challenge and it's an extra challenge, is to string all three of them together without touching the ground with anything but your hands. Part one, I'm gonna start in the side balance, move to the frog, then go into the bent arm lever. One. Two. Three. So I'm going into the side balance as normal, and then I'm slipping that bottom leg out. From this position, I'm using a lot of abdominal strength to keep this knee tucked in tight and up off the ground. Then I'm going to have to push like crazy with this left arm to push my hip up off of it and replace it with my inner knee. Check this out. And here. Drop the leg, keep tucked, push up, and I'm there. Then, part two, I'm going to just slide this elbow all the way down the inside of my thigh until it reaches the center of gravity right inside the hip there. Frog, slide. And up. Don't worry if you can't do this yet. Just do the little bit that you can do. Practice that little thing five minutes a day, ten minutes a day. Before you know it, you'll be adding more and more and more technique. We're 
all looking for ways to access new resources. And Aragami has kindly opened up their video and photo studios for small groups who are wishing to document their work. We're using it right now. So if you're in Rochester, near Rochester, traveling to Rochester, give them a call. You can contact Aragami by clicking on the notes section right under this video.